Is that 80% of the U.S. population? Like John Holler said. Let's see what Dabu had to say on it. Some really startling numbers coming forth here. And a shout out to All News Pipeline on this information. Now, you guys can do your own research in the Deagle, but you're not going to find many other companies out there with this many connections listed that they pull from all their information and data. The question is, with the numbers we're looking at here, what event do they know about that they're keeping so secret that's going to cause a mass reduction in the population like this? Now, these numbers, and you can see them right here, speak volumes as to where we're going to be as a country. Now, Deagle takes information from the CIA, even China, all these different groups around the world. And what you're looking at is as of 2013, <laughs> where we sat. In population, nothing there. World figures, nothing, nothing and where there. they have the United States forecasted for 2025, and 2025 is a decade from now, ten years. They jaw dropping have our population of 316 million in the United States reduced to 69 million. Even the world population takes a hit. But okay. looking here, it looks like this big hit is made in the United States of America. You can even look at the density. Folks, oh. the big one is going to hit any fucking day on the West Coast. That's for damn sure. Things that can fucking go? How about the Hoover Dam? Yeah, and I think the Hoover Dam might even be prepped for a false flag. I'm liking that. Of 33 inhabitants per square mile, it is cut down to seven. The world, though, in 2013, sitting at 52 inhabitants per square mile, it only drops to 50. So this is affecting the United States big time. The gross domestic product, you can see, sits at $17 trillion, dropping. Everything dropping. And look at this. The GDP sitting at 52000 slashed all the way to 13000 Even the military budget here, and this is something that should catch wow. everyone's attention. Even the military budget. A $726 billion budget. Reduced to only eight billion. Right. Yeah, because they got all the technology they need. <laughs> how? You know how, Dabu. What event is going to cause this? Let me show you, folks. Al Bielik. I've done a video or two on him. The guy was in one of the highest freaking projects, Philadelphia Experiment, and a bunch of other ones. And he got this map from the future. So he says, according to him, this black one right here, this is the actual map. According to him, this is what it looked like in the future. Uh, I think he said widest part of the Mississippi was 50 miles. Wide. All of this stuff here in white. That's all water. Oh, Florida is gone. All gone. Over here. All gone. Where it starts right at Sacramento. It's a bad city to be in. Let's take a listen. This guy's for real. I mean, this is 
cosmic top secret. Actually, I start seeing some very strange things on TV. I start asking questions. And uh, the first thing I know about it was references geographically to the United States. And I noticed severe changes in the coastline and the interior. And uh, the fact that Europe was, didn't look at all like what I had remembered it. I started asking questions. What's happened? What's going on? What's going on? That's when they uh, said, I want to see maps of what's happened. Uh, some description. I said, it looks like there's been major earth changes. And I said, yes, there have been. It all happened in the period between uh, the beginning of the 21st century and basically the year 2025. All right, what happened? Well, they told me. They showed me maps. And to describe it briefly, uh, the east coast of the United States was rather heavily changed, not as much as the west coast, but neither one for that matter. None of the changes I saw would uh, fit some of the uh, very far out maps promulgated in the late 20th century by various people such as the I Am America group and uh, uh, Michael Gordon Scallion and his series of maps. They were what I would consider the worst case possible scenario and it didn't happen that way. But what I did see was changes in the East Coast, uh, particularly when it went south towards where Georgia, Carolina's Georgia is. The Georgia coastline, right, going inland, so that Atlanta, instead of being a, about 100 miles from the ocean, was only 3 miles from the ocean. So a lot of the East Coast of Georgia was gone. Parts of uh, North Carolina had been chopped off. Florida was gone completely, except for the uh, area of the Panhandle. Was this on the TV programs that you I saw? saw the you I saw this in references on the TV program, okay. uh, which they showed pictures of the coastline in reference to something else that we're dealing with. And I see this, I said, what is this? This is the way I remember it. So that's when I started asking what's going on, and I, they gave me the maps. And the Gulf Coast was drastically changed. It was about a 50-mile-wide swath north of where we knew the Gulf Coast to be, as it is today in the beginning of the 21st century. And uh, about 50 miles wide, was just gone. It was underwater, which means New Orleans was gone, Houston was gone, All the uh, Corpus Christi, gone. Texas was gone as such, though it was just barely, because that's a little higher ground there. It was a slow lands that went. And I don't think it was geographic upheaval. It was just a case of the ocean waters have been rising, uh, plus other changes. And the big change in the middle of the country was the Mississippi became an inland waterway, a rather wide one, all the way up to the Great Lakes, which then became one lake. Uh, part of the original lakes disappeared, and other parts uh, sank so that you had one large. And the, west, the rest of the U.S. were west. By the way, folks, if there were to be a major flood, that would like overflow all the water in the U.S. This is exactly what it would look like. And you know how I know? The Navy has this map. just looks a little different. Uh, before we look at some maps, I think it's a good idea to look at this because I think it's true. Folks, if you think there's not many people out there who are awake, I think you're sadly mistaken. I think the number is a lot, lot higher than people think it is. I think people have been fed up with this country's bullshit for years. I think people are just scared. Notably, who the fuck isn't? You want to be scared or you want to be scared to death? 
You want to dig your own grave? See, the idea here, folks, is to stop the atrocity before it happens. Not when you're standing in line getting a fucking tattoo. So, this comes from U.S. Representative Mac Thornberry from Texas. Talking about FEMA. And he's talking, he's talking, he goes on to say, America's resolve has not been broken. In fact, I believe our resolve is stronger now than ever before. We are resolved to fight terrorism. We are resolved to defend freedom. And we are resolved to put this tragedy behind us. Yeah, he's talking about... Yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Now, talking the great path of democracy is... He says, Continue down the great path of democracy that our founding fathers charted for us more than 200 years ago. With this same resolve, however, we must look at areas where we need to change. First of all, the Founding Fathers never charted anything democratic, Pally boy. In fact, I don't even recall the word ever coming up. As far as uh, areas that need change, the Constitution never needs change. You look for change somewhere else. Maybe another country. The threats of 21st century will not be fully deterred by our military superiority, which is why we need to reorganize our federal agencies and our armed forces so we are better prepared to deal with the complicated security environment in which we now live. And according to him, the changes will include Improving our intelligence with better organizational focus, clearer requirements, improved coordination and dissemination, and more resources. Intelligence, both technical and human, remains our first best line of defense. Line of defense. Then he goes into transforming our military. Completely fucking hangable offense. Everything from its personal policies, personnel policies, to its acquisition processes to its professional education. Did I or did I not, have I not been telling you that they're fucking hiring cops across the country who've got IQs of less than 100 and have you noticed the fucking police chiefs seem to be getting a little younger and younger and younger. No coincidence. Our military must be able to deal with a broader array of threats. Business as usual will not be good enough to do the job. More than 40 agencies have some responsibility for homeland security. Nothing's happened yet! 40 fucking agencies? What's wrong with one? Folks, in case you missed the map yesterday. Not even a map. Chain of command. The Department of Homeland Security alone has like 10 agencies in it. They make up FEMA. 10 fucking agencies. For Homeland Security alone. We haven't had a terror attack yet. How do you know how the fuck one is going to do? Better safe than sorry? Well, try two or three then. 40? The fuck? Well, I think you're a little overreaching there, pally boy. Jeez. Unreal. This guy's, this guy's asking for a new Homeland Security Agency already. They're not even in place. We haven't even used them yet. Oh, what do we use them for? To fucking rattle Americans and fucking do martial law in their homes? People who talk shit like this should be just, as soon as they start talking it, nothing even said. The guy walks up, grabs him by the arm, and that's the end of the story. You're gone, buddy. And I don't mean kicking you out the building either. Alrighty, folks. If you type in this, America 2050... 
Go get Global Research, probably. It's a government website. It's legit. And this is a new FEMA map. Or a uh, new uh, Agenda 21 map. Which has become Agenda 2030, which has become Agenda 2050. And if you notice from yesterday with the DARPA stuff that I put, they're the end of their transhumanist program is to about 2040 to 2050. What a coincidence they fucking tie right in on the timelines. And then when they get set back with the robotic shit, then they'll push this one back too. So on the map, let me show you, wait, let me show you the old map first. Biodiversity. This is a biodiversity map for Agenda 21 that is in government documents all over the place. Not just about every, everyone knows about Agenda 21 in some form or another. Whether they know about this map or not is something different. But folks, if you think this map is scary, all this red, are plate that's government land, places humans will not be allowed to go. These little green areas, if you can fucking spot one out. Here's a nice clunk right here in Utah. If you can spot them out, that's where the humans will be staying. Uh, I guess they thought better and came up with this one. Now, everything that you see in this color... That is not for you. That is off limits. Humans will be restricted to the colored areas. Oh, the colored areas. How fitting. Since then we'll be in civil war. Race riots and shit. I don't, man. I hope, I hope at least a majority of the people out there, black and white, know about this fucking, this little Coward and Pimmon setup they got us on here and have always had us on. Got nothing to do with race. Let's keep in mind the real fucking criminals here who are robbing, raping, fucking murdering us every single day. Whose plan this is. Let's keep that in mind, folks. Can we please? And what a coincidence, folks. All of the... These are waterways here, by the way. All of the train hubs seem to be located at the very areas we were just at. Very convenient. Very convenient. Look at them all coming out. They look like hurricane paths, don't they? This is the map for the high speed rail. It's phase one, phase two, which I think they're on now. What the fuck do I know? Phase three. And then, woohoo! Trans American Network! But look at where the high speed light rail is. It's only in certain places, folks. Coast. Okay, in certain places. They got underground ones for the government and shit that can get from coast to coast in an hour. Now, this is why I urge everyone to have an escape plan. So, and now you can tell what their agenda is here. Agenda 21. With all of these fucking different categories they got. Underperforming regions. Underperforming city. Look, federal lands, all in white. 
underperforming counties in brown, mega regions in gray. Okay, let's see what else I got. Well, there's this one here, folks, that's a doozy. Cascadia mega region and its environments. This whole thing right here is NorCal and Oregon. Okay, all the way up to the Cascade Mountains. Part of the high speed rail. Now, folks, I keep telling you the United States is following the same exact earmarks for the enslavement, the shit that fucking Nazi Germany had. Same blueprint. I mean, same, like, the, peop the people they captured from Germany handed them the fucking manual. That's what I mean. So, let's see what was happening in Germany's time when they are, when they were where we are right now. 1930. Germany at the height of civilization in everything, philosophically, scientifically, you name it. The Germans. There's the fucking reign of terror. And the bullshit started hitting the fan. And it was... Wow, it really was that short? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. It was less than five years, folks. How long is the president's term? Oh, that's right. There hasn't been a four-termer in how long? No. Every fucking president, since they got their shit in has been an eight-term president. You know what I mean. Two terms. Eight years. Okay, folks. I've done this story before about Al Bielik, Black Ops agent, and ridiculous experiments and shit in outer space. He claims to have come back with this map from the future. And he says, from 2020 to 2025, these are the changes that are going to take place in the United States. And all of these that you see shaded in white, these white lines here, it's not going to be there anymore. No. And Mississippi River, about 50 miles wide. And the all, all of the Great Lakes are going to be one lake. If you think I'm kidding, or, you know, Mr. Looney Tunes over here, I'll have you know, that the Navy hands this map out to every one of its seamen. And it looks strangely familiar, doesn't it, folks? Doesn't it, folks? By 2025-2030. God, I fucking hope not. That's it, folks. Okay. There's the uh, one and only shelter. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to some exopolitics and or uh, you know some some ancient stuff, some giants and things. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.